Let's get to the latest in the Tupac murder investigation. Today, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis made his first court appearance since being arrested and charged with Tupac's murder in 96. Mr. Davis is present in custody. Shackled at the waist, a somber-looking Davis hobbled into the Las Vegas courtroom, where he faced the judge at the arraignment for his arrest in the Tupac murder case. Mr. Davis, sir, have you retained counsel to represent you in this case? Yes, ma'am. But since his attorney was not present, Davis was not arraigned. He'll be held in jail on no bail until his next court appearance on October 19th. We will continue to ask for a no bail setting because we believe under Nevada law that the proof is evident and the presumption is great that he will be convicted of first degree murder. This past July, Las Vegas police raided Davis's home searching for evidence, 27 years after Tupac was gunned down in a gang related shooting. Dwayne Davis was the leader and shot caller. Keefe D had confessed directly to me and other members of our task force uh, as to what his involvement was back in 2009. Davis's confession of his involvement had long been protected by a proffer agreement, which gave him limited immunity for what he discussed in his police interview with retired LAPD detective Greg Kading. But Kading says Davis broke the agreement after he went on to boast about his involvement publicly. Who shot Tupac? I keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat, bro. Before his arrest, Kading predicted Davis's trial would go down in history as a very unique one. Because you've got a sole defendant whose primary witness against him is himself. So the jury would be able to hear all of the confessions he's made over the years, and then they could make a decision whether or not they believe it. And once Davis makes his plea, the judge will set a date for the jury trial to begin.